right, so here we are at the beach and we're gonna go out for a little bit of a fly. Uh, so here we go, I've got a good traveling case here, which is nice and sturdy, keeps my copter, keeps extra batteries. Um, all this good stuff is in here. I've got some extra props in here in case I break one. So let's get set up. So I'm gonna pull out my Phantom, transmitter, and a battery. So I'm gonna also pull out my little uh, cards here. So let's pop them down here and then let's do a pre-flight. So first thing I wanna do is actually just gonna check in here that I've got a card in there. And I've got a micro SD card in the camera right now, which is great. Gonna take the battery, gonna insert the battery. All right, let's make sure I got my phone. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna attach my phone to the transmitter and I just kind of just bend this one over like that so I can fit it inside the bag. I'm gonna snap that in here, turn it on, hey boy. And uh, we're just gonna go here. All right, so let's check, before we do anything else, let's do a little more pre-flight check. So I'm gonna grab this. First thing I wanna do is make sure these props are nice and secure. Which they are. Make sure there's no loose parts. Um, we wanna check the camera here and everything is looking good. Battery is inserted securely. So we're looking good. So we're gonna take our transmitter. We're gonna turn on the Wi-Fi extender right here. Put my antenna forward, turn it on. Make sure both switches are up. And now we're gonna turn on our Phantom. So I'm gonna hit it once and then twice. And notice the little flashing lights. And these lights are gonna keep flashing. They're gonna be doing tests. They're gonna be doing warm ups. And what they're really doing is they're also, you can see the gimbal there is uh, stabilizing and calibrating. So we're just gonna wait for that to get started and we're gonna let it get satellite lock. I'm not gonna turn this on yet because what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna calibrate this. Um, but I'm actually gonna wait for it to get a, um, a little bit of a lock and let it warm up before I calibrate it. So I just wanna show you what's happening. Notice the red, now the green's flashing. And that means that at this point here, it's getting pretty close to having a good satellite lock. There we go. See now that it's flashing green like that, that means it's connected to satellites. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna calibrate it because we're in a new environment. So I'm gonna take this switch here and I'm gonna do this up and down five times really fast. So one, two, three, four, five. Notice it goes into orange there. I'm gonna grab this and now I need to rotate it. So I'm just gonna hold it here and I'm gonna walk around. And then you'll notice that this is showing that it's uh, calibrating. Now I'm gonna put it like this, nose down, and I'm gonna walk around here like that. Notice now it's flashing green. It means that now it's calibrated. All right, so we're actually pretty much ready to start flying. Okay, so right now I'm just out there flying a little bit. And um, right now I'm going up on these guys with the uh, paddle boards. Notice when I do this, I'm just doing very slight movements. They're not sudden or large movements. Notice I'm barely touching the joystick here. And this is the way to fly while you're filming. We're just doing this just very, very just gently and slowly. Nothing happening too fast. You don't want to do movements like this while you're filming because that'll just be too jerky. So as you can see, it's just very, very, very subtle movements. And then I'm just going to yaw around a little bit. Right now it's showing an altitude of only 42 feet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this around slowly and I'm just recomposing this shot. I'm actually going to drop the altitude a little bit to just about 35 feet, so I'm actually quite low to the water. So I really got to keep an eye on what's going up there, which is why I keep looking away, because I want to keep my eye on that. 
very important to do that. In fact, I'm going to be just looking at it the whole time. And now I'm just going to come up on these guys. There we go. All right, I'm just going to yaw around a little bit just to get the right angle. Notice I'm just barely touching this lift trigger here. And there we go. Look at that. Oh, man, that's beautiful footage we're getting right now. That's really nice. And the important thing, remember, no sudden movements. Just move slowly and gently. So when we turn, we turn gently. Because uh, if you turn too suddenly or you do anything too suddenly, it's going to break the shot and it's just not going to be usable anymore. So let's just keep these shots nice and smooth. All right, that's looking good. All right, there we go. And I'm flying over the pedal borders. All right. That's a money shot right there. So why don't I turn around, and I'm going to fly out to sea a little bit now. So there we go, going out to sea a little bit. I see another pedal border out there. Let me go up to this guy here and see if maybe I can get in there. And let's see this time, let's see how close we can get, and maybe we can get a photograph this time. We're about a thousand feet out right now. I've got a clear line of sight. So I'm dropping my altitude. So let's go up on the guy. There we go, we got some nice footage right there. Let me just compose this shot really nicely. There we go. And now I'm gonna take a photograph. We're at about 30 feet. So 1,100 feet out, 30 feet up. And I'm just gonna come down a little bit. I'm actually gonna come down a little lower. We're at about 20 feet now. All right, let's bring this up. And we're going to bring it back home. If you wonder what direction you're pointing, we can actually just turn our little radar on. And I'm just going to yaw this around until I see the arrow here is pointing directly towards me, or, or away from me, and now I'm going to bring it back in. And another thing you can do too is look at the distance. Right now it's 1150, 1110, 960. So you can actually look at the distance too. That's another way to find out um, if this is coming closer. And I can see we're coming right in. And we're gonna get this guy and I'm just gonna bring it in for a landing. Bring it right over myself here. Bring it down, move it back a little bit. And there we go, and that's one really nice uh, little flight there, one successful mission.